Hello everybody, welcome back to more warm snow. We are going to give heavy snow another shot here. See if uh, maybe the build was the issue in the last time that we checked this out. Uh, I don't anticipate that my opinions are going to strongly change, but hey, we're going to at least have a little bit more uh, of a struggle here. We're going to have a tougher time, uh, which could be good. <laughs> so I do want to go with this because we do have a, a, a relic right now that seems relatively appropriate and uh, it's been a while since we've checked it out let's go for let's see flying sword spray enemies with strong liquor uh th so this is the uh, fire explosion your sword turns into the gourd you know what let's do that that sounds sounds like a fun time uh so we have a passive the black powder it's a simple one you know uh upon dealing the damage 10 percent chance to cause burning for three seconds like that could be something Flame damage has 10% chance to deal 2x damage. Like, there's a lot of different things we can do with that. Your burning effect is upgraded to true flame. Damage is increased by 100%, and it deals true damage. I mean, it seems like a good start, right? I feel like true damage is likely a good idea here. I think that one of the big issues of the difficulty is maybe that enemies just get a whole bunch of armor. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's it's been armor all along. Maybe it's not HP. Maybe that's that's what it is, for all I'm aware here. Look at that fire damage there. So they're not getting burnt right now. We don't particularly have a good way to do so. Um, let's see. We can ignite all drunk, drunk, ignited does what? Burning. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Just wanted to make sure. All your damage is increased based off of, yeah, based off your money. Like, part of me wants to do that, but let's go with something else for now. Um, upon dying, instantly recover 30% max HP. Let's go with armor penetration for now. I, I probably should go with that other one, like, if we're being honest, but... Feels like it's a long way off, and truth be told, I'm not as much worried about my health here as I am about making sure I do enough damage to kill enemies quickly. Okay, so when we have this mode on and we throw out the little wine cask stuff, I believe that it doesn't cause burning. I think it just immediately does fire damage. Am I wrong? So I think we're better off doing it kind of backwards, you know, where we uh, make sure we get down the goop first and light it up second. It's doing pretty good damage, though. First, we're going to get knocked back. I thought I almost dashed that. I th <laughs> it's almost like I uh, whoop, went around it somehow. Every time, man. Go, 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 go. It's doing some work. It's doing some work. Wait, did I just somehow... Do you get iframes when you sheath? Bye, nerd. Do you get iframes when you sheath? That is, that'd be world-shaping. All damage taken by enemies affected by true flame is increased by 20%. Will also continue to burn without going out. Mm, that seems nice. Oh my god. Enemies with burning take bonus damage. All damage up 10%. Range damage up 20%. Rampage affects enemies with less than 60%. King hit takes effect on enemies with more than 80%. That all could be good. Did we get offered king hit already? I think we might have. Uh, fly, your flying sword attack has a 10% chance to do 1.5. I don't think that's a, rel a relevant thing. Uh, I don't think that... Our flying sword damage attributes to anything. Does it? Mm, there's no damage unless there is fire. So it probably does technically do damage. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that flying sword damage makes a lot of sense with this right here. 
Shall I rank it up? What? What? I'm confused by that. Uh, flame damage up only by 5%. Should we bother? I don't understand. I guess it's just a chance to rank it up, right? Because I do really like this conceptually. But it's worse now. <laughs> he made it he made it worse. So burning enemies take I don't know. Fine. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, fine. Wow me. You better wow me. After all that. I don't get this guy. It must just be a chance then. Damnation, attack, boost, and defense are traded for a 15% chance to deal 300% extra damage. I will highly consider it if we get it soon. Otherwise, I'll probably trade it for a rank, a side grade or a rank up. I'll heavily consider it. Don't have a very common way of doing... Of inflaming things, though. We have a 10% on uh, on doing damage. But our only way to do damage is currently our our main sword. So I guess we pretty much just have to throw these out. But see, these enemies are not getting caught on fire. It's a, it's a weird... It's a weird thing today. We don't have a build yet. We I promise you, we really do not have a build yet. When we get an enemy burning once, they should theoretically stay burning, though. Like, he should be burning, right? Yeah, he's burning. So now he's taking 20. Was he taking 20 before, or was he taking 10? Does it stack? I don't know. There's, like, a lot of... There's just a lot I'm trying to parse here. It also looks like we do get some kind of uh, iframes when we sheath. I don't know. That's big new intel, if true. Okay. A legendary sword. I'll probably end up taking it. Twenty-three. Huh. Does it not count as fire damage anymore when it's quote-unquote true damage? All damage up, poison damage up, melee attack speed up. Enters with burning, take more damage. If you have celestial jade, your flying melee sword have a chance. I mean, sure. Let's let's go with that instead for now. It's higher rank if we're you know we can sell it or, or trade it rather in a moment. Could be a good call. Okay. If we could get a way to for our fire to do like percentage of max HP. That'd be like the dream there. Okay, light them all up. Ooh, boy. Come on, fire. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to increase my chance to get the flame going. But so far, is not all going that great. Ooh. Ooh, now there we go. All, okay, your damage to burning enemies increased by 100%. Your all, your all burning effect has a 10% chance to do 2x damage. Okay. Uh, hmm. Flame damage has a 10% chance to do 4x damage. Uh, I mean, I like all of that. Go with this for now. Go with that for now. That is uh, probably one of the better upgrades we could have gotten. Forty. Okay. Good, 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 good. That that was uh, that was definitely a game changer. No doubt in my mind that is going to change the game. Are you burned? 
Maybe they maybe they are just immediately burned. I can't I really can't tell. The visual effect is just is much smaller than you'd think. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. I don't know. We're basically relying on the sheath right now, though. However, the sh we do get the sheath very often. They're not burning. Confirmed. They are not burning. Okay. Maybe we switch it back then. Uh, okay. Really seems like a why would I not take that kind of a vibe. Ink fire crystal. My concern is burning doesn't count technically as flame damage. Burning may be entirely technically, technically separate from flame damage, for all I know. It does that's the unfortunate thing. Um that seems like a no-brainer, though. Do I have a way to make enemies bleed? I don't think I do. Not reliably, at least. You need damage. <gasps> oh! Okay, upon sheath, 106 true flame damage surrounding enemies. Rage is 100. Consume all rage. Deal 25% true damage to... Add 25% true damage to all of your melee and flying sword damage for 20 seconds. I mean, that's really good. 20 seconds? 25% chance to summon a giant ink fire does 106 true flame damage. Uh, 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 on flicker, shoot an ink fire near his enemy, doing 14 true damage. It bounces three times. That actually could work really well. Wait, what's this? Okay, what's this? What's this? Upon dealing damage, 25% chance to trigger an ink fire burst deals 21 true flame damage. Also deals damage equal to 8% of their max HP, but not oh, but not exceeding 200% of the player's attack. Hmm. I think we go with this for now. Hmm. We do that for now. I I hope to change it soon though. Okay, move on. Move on. All right, that's good. We've increased our damage. We've increased our damage. King hit. Wait, we don't have that anymore. Gain range faster. When knocked down, recover 5% max HP every second. <laughs> okay. Weird. None of these are really that good. I'll I'll go with move speed, but I'm not really happy about any of that. Damage. Zombie finger real gun. No, thank you. Health or book? Obviously book. Percent of max HP damage has been the um like from what I've read, everybody mentioned there's like two builds that work. And that is Sun Piercer or Poison, or I guess technically now it seems like there's a chance for this to do percent of max HP damage. Um, but the thing is, I think the other build, the Poison build, has a max cap that caps out at a higher amount. Increase burning damage. 
by 35%, reduce movement speed. Uh, let's increase the burning damage. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like we can get a lot of damage out. Like this here, so I think we do it. Dash for the Ink Fire Crystal. That's true damage, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's ripping through enemies. It it should not all come down to getting an item that does true true damage. Or uh, percentage of max HP damage. It shouldn't come down to that. I'm just trying to light everybody on fire. Okay. Dash, 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 dash. It shouldn't be only down to that. What do we got here? Uh, above 50% HP. Eh. When 100% HP defense is increased by 35% rage gain. I mean, that's pretty cool. Damage you deal has a 25% chance to increase all damage by 20% for 3 seconds. 25% chance upon automatic... Eh. Rage 100 automatic consume all rage to greatly increase both your attack and defense by 55%. I don't know if we can ditch the black powder just yet. I don't know how common I'm going to be, like, at max HP, you know? I think there's going to be a lot of, like, little... That guy exploded. Little bits where I am missing a bit. Pearl... Ah, God, stinking Pearl. It's so busted, but I, it's also boring. so busted, but it's also so boring. I'm not taking it. Have a little fun. I'm not taking it. I should... Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe it'll be good. You can take damage and it won't really matter. But also, this room is, like, not big at all. Okay. Boop. Another book. We're getting books out the wazoo. Okay. So does our dash not... Okay, our dash can do fire damage. It can. Okay, okay. It can ignite that. Good. I didn't know if it was like... So, uh, yes, on paper it makes sense that um, the dash would... Ooh. Wait. Enemy with burning effect also deals flame damage to other nearby enemies. This could extend things in a very meme way. Okay, common. I don't think I should keep this, though. No. No thanks. Appreciated. I'll take the damage. We should actually destroy this boss, regardless of... Uh, Like, yeah, the, the percentage HP business is dumb. The percentage HP business is very dumb. It makes this guy not matter. We're doing it. This should probably melt. Yep. Okay. Light it on fire, light it on fire. I think it stacks or something. I think that's what it is. I think the fire is stacking. Okay. Dead. Bye. Goodbye. Chance to trigger burning blade increased by 15%. Flame damage up 20%. When your melee attack deals damage to a unit affected by burning, increase your melee attack speed. Uh, I'm going to take this one. This is, yeah, this is the fully poisoned one. It's not 
like Realgur or anything. There's a chance Realgur could do something for us. Sheath cooldown down a lot, melee damage up. I mean, poison takes more damage, damage attack. Have five percent chance to do four percent, four times extra damage. Wind chase herb in your core slot, fifty percent more likely to be triggered. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to re-roll it for a similar quality. Like I can get another impossible quality sword. Oops, wait, wrong thing. And then we'll figure out what we'll do with that after. Bruise herb. Give me a new one. I'm willing to spend 100. I think we can do better. Death Lotus. Flame damage up 29%. All damage up 20%. Melee attack speed up. 29% flame damage up 29% legendary relic drop chance up 11. I think we keep this for now and hope that like I think there's a chance in which we could find a better one. Yeah. Flying sword up 20% reduced sheath skill. I'll take melee attack up for now. I don't know. Here's the thing. Burning might technically for some reason burning may be a flying sword damage ability now. I I don't know. I don't know. Some, there's things that are strange in this game sometimes. Pop, pop. Okay. Rip, 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 rip. Dodge and circle, dodge and circle, dodge and circle. Okay. Like, we should be able to just put that down and then do a dash attack to proc it. Which is working really well. Okay. Bye-bye. This is going much better today. This is going much better today. I have heard so many complaints about the top... Because there's apparently two more difficulties after this. So that's worth noting. Okay. Oops. Wreck. Oop. Oh my god. That didn't, that didn't go well, but it also didn't matter. Uh, flicker distance increase. I don't care. She don't particularly care. Um, I'll get the Jar of Solace now. That sounds good now. Sounds good now. Thanks. Go. Oh, watch out. Blast him good. Blast him good. Blast him good. We got there. Ambrosia. What does strong liquor do? Is that the same as this? Seems like maybe it's the same. I think there's no reason to take this right now. Maybe the legendary version of it applies some kind of, um, some reason to take it logically. We don't have it right now. I can tell you that much for free. I will tell you, th this is feeling a lot better today. Like, a lot better. There is also a chance, there is a chance that it was in a patch that, that I didn't see somewhere. Or there is a chance that that build just really royally sucked. But I've seen so many complaints about Blizzard difficulty, which is the highest difficulty that it's just, it's just unbelievably gross. I, I, I've heard many, 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 many complaints about it. So I'm hoping if we do play up to that point that it's fixed by the time we get there. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Then again, things did not get bad until zone four. So we have to keep that in mind. Things didn't get bad until zone four, but if we're doing percentage of max HP damage, if we're doing percent of max HP damage, it shouldn't, it should be a much gentler scale.
Okay, go, 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 go. Don't know who's here, but I hope you're dead. Okay, good. Whew. More money, sounds good. Whoop. I hope we get the uh, the burnstone, the the new item that was released in the other patch that we uh, whatever the patch came out yesterday or a few days ago or whatever that we saw in the in the run yesterday, but it wasn't relevant to us. Is this the? Um, I don't know which one this is. Uh, legendary. So what what was what is the thing? A uh, chance to do 2x damage. They can pass through the enemy. There's a world. There's a world where we could. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I think we say no. I think we say no. I think we we cut our losses on that one. Take a damage up. Smile. Damage up, smile. Light him a blaze. This, oh my god. The fire's gonna be so good for this because he's gonna be taking all that extra damage anyways. Oh my god. This is why having... This is reason B why having your game scale primarily through HP... Yeah, primarily through HP makes most sense, especially if you're going to increase, like, include a uh, percentage damage thing. Um, do we tech? Do we technically ever do flying sword damage? Do we technically ever do flying sword damage? I don't. I mean, we do when we have our our. Uh, Sheath ability on, I guess. Mm. Fine. This is a Thunderstone. We're not going to take that right now. New and cool, but not for this build. It's a very thunder focused item. Well, hello. Hello there, mister. Good, good, good. More money, more power. Okay. Get in, get out, get in, get out. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. More money, more money. Always love a love a tough choice like that. Okay, I missed the burn. Yeah, we're trying to basically. If you don't know our game plan, it's it's get them covered with the the liquor before we dash uh, before we dash in, so that our true flame. From our ink fire crystal, I I shouldn't have to go for health. The true flame from our ink fire crystal should theoretically light it ablaze. Theoretically. Okay. Like, who needs dashes? Or who needs who needs melee pegs? I really wish I knew where all of the instances that um. Flying sword damage applied in this build. Uh, I think we have to try for both. Ooh. Um.
I'm confused on that. I'm confused if this is good. A good trade. Probably. It's like a 5% increase to our flame damage. Kind of. Hmm. see here true upon sheath i don't care about that that much like it's not bad it's really not bad but upon dealing flame damage what if we what does this do i feel like that all damage to burning enemies increased by 100 percent is too hard to pass up but flame chance has a 10% chance to do 4x damage. Is nice. On rage 100. Sure, let's do that. I think. And worst comes to worst, we'll literally just replace. The, we'll just switch the order on those. Would I, would I want another one of these? I don't know if we want another one of those. At this point. I think we're actually... I think I'm good. I'm scared that we're going to be messing things up. I'm scared that we just messed things up. But there's a chance we just blew things up in a good way. I mean, she's dying fast. Let's try. Let's try, let's try this out on uh, on her, right here. I feel like this is going better. Am I crazy? I'm very unsure. Her health should technically be still ticking down. What if she died? All I know is my build is certainly irrelevant for this part, really. Might as well just heal. There's no point not to. You never know, we could get Wombo'd. Good deal. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh no! I thought I was. I thought I was gonna get hit by that. With certainty. Just standing around there. Good deal. Good deal, good eel, good feel. When drunk or strong liquor is ignited, trigger an explosion deals flame damage from a small area. Uh, melee attacks have a chance to lay down a flame wall. Ooh. I'm going to go with Burning Explosion for now, giving us another chance to proc fire damage, which... 
increases our chance to proc ink fire crystal. Whoop. All right. I don't know. I'll have to look at my build. It really, I don't know. It seemed like the second variation was doing a little bit better. I don't want any of that. Damage to burning enemies increased by 100%. I feel like that's just too hard to pass up. I don't know. Yeah. 150. 25% chance to summon a giant ink crystal. Does one. What would we rather have? The, the bounce? On bosses, we definitely would rather have the legendary be this one than this one. Take the money. Hey, pass. I don't want to get... I don't know. It's... Yes, we're not activating our passive of it. Or, our, you know, the synergy, whatever. But I'm... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Okay. I do like how fast these fools are dying. Okay. I really like how fast these fools are dying. Very promising. Very promising that we've made the correct choice here. Ouch. Okay. Got an elite. Go, go. Get him, get him, get him. Ow. Okay, let's back up. Boom, 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 Yeah, I don't even feel like... When we activate our super mode, I don't feel like it's beneficial to us at all. Like, it might work for a little bit to help us out, but all, all in all, I think I'd rather have the, the pool of fire. It feels like that's the case, at the very least. Oops, I dashed right back into it. Okay. All right, same thing, same thing. Just dash right back into it, why not? Okay, go. Back it up, back it up. Yeah, because we can't, if we can't burn them, then why bother, right? We're missing out on a lot if we do it that way. It's a weird world where our sheath sucks. I would consider it to be an active downgrade. Oh. We have all of our heals. Oh my god. We have all of our heals. And fire. Good. Alright, we're good. Alrighty. Where was the elite? That one time. What? Did we get the elite thing that one time where there was an elite? I'm confused. Uh, would I would I want another ink fire crystal? Like I would take a legendary ink fire crystal at this point. Fiery salt Peter's worth looking into, especially. Ooh. Uh, when shooting flying, when shooting flying, flying swords, 40% chance to deal 45 flame damage, 20% more damage to enemies afflicted by burning, and you deal 25% more, more flame damage. It's just kind of awkward, though. Hmm. 
Leaves leaves a wall of flame in your movement path, for sure. This seems like a big upgrade. Enemies caught in the wall of flame move slower. You do 25% more flame damage all in all. Uh, upon flicker, leave a wall of flame on your movement path in your movement path that lasts for three seconds. 24 flame damage seconds. It's not true damage, but it's more. Uh, let's see this in action. I feel like it's better. I'm not confident. I'm not confident. I'm not confident. But I feel like it's better. Uh, we have so much money. Let's do this. I'm not confident. But it could be good. I'm mostly doing it because that 25% flat flame damage up seems really nice. Oops. Get ready to get in there. Okay. Yeah, when we activate that mode, we basically have to rely on a, a lucky proc. Oh my god. Good. I definitely know I uh, don't want blood fungus. We turned down a legendary earlier. I feel like if you could, if you turn down a legendary version of something, you can pretty confidently say I don't want the, the epic version. Oh god, screw Hurricane. I don't want to... I'm not going to go with... I don't want Indomitable. I don't want any of that. Sure. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We put down the the drunk pool and then we just dash through and it auto procs like mad. Oh god, the way that lays itself out is always tricky to me. Trickier than it has a right to be. See there? See, look at that. Yeah, it's like, it's because it's on a delay. It lights up the first one, and then so I dash out of the way of the lights. Okay. Ooh, there's a world. I don't know, man. I, there is a world, but I don't think it's this one. Me, not that kind of work. Not today. Like, we could... Uh, I feel like, again, it's a microchip build. Oops. Didn't get the dash in in time. Quasi-promising. Seeing him still die that quick. Okay. We did it. We did it. We dashed the attack. Sure. Wow, mate. I would like a way to do gentle heals at this point. Yeah. You ready? They should move slower through the wall. Fire. Uh oh, this is very much a poison build thing. 50% chance to do 100% true damage when your poison or toxin does deal deals damage. Does does deals damage. I mean that's really good. When you deal true poison damage, your poison damage increased by 50%. This is wild. 
That's like made for the the higher difficulties and everything, but I just like screw it, man. It's all good. I don't need it. I don't need it. I got a flame build. Keep my money. I do more damage when I have more money. Reminder that I took that item, so don't say you're hoarding too much money. Some people forget that that, that item exists, and I have it often. You will not get me today! You might, but I hope you don't get me today. That is promising. That is so promising. That is incredibly promising. Fire should stay, so I should be able to assume that that's gonna go away in a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Go through, go through. Go through, go through. At this point, I'm going to do this. I, that, that's premature, I'm aware, but, like, I don't want to get one-shot by that one move that he has that does, like, basically one-shot. Oh, shoot. Don't want to get turtle blasted, either. Uh. Stay out, stay out, stay out, stay out. Good. All right, I think we got this. <laughs> I think we, I think we got this uh, so much faster than yesterday or two days, two days ago. Sir. Yeah, he's dying so much faster. Okay. Oh my god, it's night and day. Night and day on these procs. I don't know which one of these is going to be the poison. How am I supposed to know which one's going to be the poison one? How am I supposed to know which one's the poison one, man? I think that's a new variation for this difficulty, which I will say is good. Oh, my God. Big bone. Chance to lay down a firewall when your melee attack hits a burning unit. Yeah, yeah, let's finally get that one. <laughs> I, no, I, I wouldn't have taken that, even had I known. Even had I known, I wouldn't have taken it. No, sir. The damage from money item might be putting in some work for us, too. This is going to be very telling. How are we igniting this? Are we, like, shooting it through our own... I don't know. Uh, we need to do some math. One point two five fifty. Okay, they 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 nerfed that, didn't they? What was this? Fifteen. Whatever. I'll tell you what. For the sake of fun, I'll do it. Blue souls. Yeah, I think we pass. I think we pass, and I'm pretty comfortable. I just I like the passives of this so much that I'm not. I don't know. I'm finding success on this difficulty despite their HP pools. 
so I don't. I'm I'm a little afraid to uh, to mess too much with it. Okay. Oop! Did you hit by that? I did. They are, they are definitely, they're dying quicker than they did that day, but they are definitely, they still got some health, so. Potentially good middle ground. Also, the fact that we basically get to play a, uh, a ranged build helps a lot. He was attacking? That. Should we do this? Yeah, it works. All right. Nice. Okay. Yeah, with all the fire blasting action, I genuinely can't tell when he's attacking. Oops. Okay. Yo, this is good. This is good. No. Beat this. This is chaos. Okay. Go, 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 we don't technically need to kill these things. But I think that it may be more problematic if we... Oh, God. If we don't. Okay. Get him. Get out. I took damage there. I don't know if that was poison. I, I, you know, there's a world in which that this actually works how I think, and we are just basically going to be doing 25% more damage. Watch out for the poison on the ground. Basically, if we're never, if we're never attacking, we're going to be doing more damage. Like, we only use the, our gimmicky things. When they're just standing in a pool of, like, already lit up lit fire, it works so well. Problematic. That's not good. We shouldn't shouldn't need to use another heal there. Okay. Okay. Stuck. I'm stuck on the environment. Oh, my God. Got stuck on that. Phantom pixels. Yikes. Yeah, this seems like a no, no Brianer. Secret here. Ooh. Oh god. Trying to do a little bit of cheatsy action. screen cover them and then run the hell away Lolt. strategy poise grace power oh defeat didn't realize that guy was still alive Ooh. 
How dare you hit me from off screen? That's my job. Not fair. It's only oh my god. It's only fair if I do it. Oh my god. There's another one up there. Not who I thought he was. I thought he was the other sword boy. I'm glad that we have a health shrine here. We really needed it. Yikes. Okay. Good. Watch out for the poison on the ground that I can't see because I put fire everywhere. This needs to go. Oh boy. Okay. Watch it. Oh boy. Yeah, some some gentle way to heal would be nice. How about here? Max HP up 8%. I don't know, man. That fine. Maybe that's more impressive than it sounds. I'm running out of books that sound cool at this point. I can't. I can't do that either, I don't think. Gotta be careful. That worked? Oh my god, that range. Okay. Cool. Attacks. They come out so fast. Jesus. Oh my god. Stop. Oh. Uh, yeah, no. I thought I, got, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I got it away. You got so much health. What? She landed on me? Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Man, why even play this game in melee range? At high difficulties. What's the point? Why, why play in melee range? There's no benefit to it. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Armor penetration up. Melee attack speed up. Cool, whatever. Poison, whatever, whatever. Ink fire crystal melee attacks have a 15% chance to trigger. Ink fire blade and do 50% true flame damage. Chance to trigger. Ink flare is increased by another 85%. I feel like we have to. Uh... a world where that would work but i can't i can't sacrifice this i can't sacrifice that one to make it happen <sighs> i don't know how this is gonna apply 
I don't know how either of these applies really for us. Maybe it has some secret grade interaction. Who knows? I feel like we're running out of books. I feel like we're doing a lot more damage now. I think that the uh, Ink Fire Crystal Proc ch chance thing. He hits behind him. He has a back whip Spelunky style. Oh my god. He has a Spelunky back whip. Alright. That's incredible for us. I feel like no sword's gonna help us out that much anymore. Yeah, the Ink Fire Crystal is just the only thing doing work here today. Blessed be that percentage of max HP damage. Otherwise, man, I, I'm seeing how slow their health would go. Otherwise, it's uh, it is it is rough. book lady over here. Don't need to kill the summons. I'm more confident that a an elite drop will benefit us. Okay. God dang, it's the poison again. Nope, 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 nope. Not good. Too many enemies. I caught on the geometry. Got caught on the geometry there. That's no good. That's not even an elite. Come on. How does a guy react to that? How does a guy react to that? I'm out of. I'm out of health. Boss is going to be a nightmare. We're going to have to play the meme game. Do it full distance. Berserker blood. It's just not something we're going to have to worry about. I, I can't. <laughs> He's shooting down the same line that I was, so I couldn't tell. Whoops. All right. No more health potions, and we got to do this guy who, well... If we make it there. This is probably Vampire Survivor Room, yeah. Which we should do really well on, for what it's worth. If only we had some reliable way to heal. I don't think we would have had to use all those potions, but dang. What you gonna do? Alright. Alright. Do a little cheaty cheaty, do a little hope. Fingers crossed. Alright, good deal. Fingers crossed. That's all we can do is hope. Wait, does he throw? Wait, what? What's he doing? He's doing something new there. I've never seen that before. What? He's doing different stuff. I'm not. I'm not accustomed to it. Okay. He's slowing me down when he does that. What? I 
Could have. Couldn't get away. Okay, super mode. Butt clenching time. Okay. Not good. Not good. Not good. Okay. 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 Oh! What was that? What is that? Is he gonna do something? Oh my god. <laughs> Just Jesus. Oh my god. He's really like honestly, he's pretty easy. But I was just hurting so much until now. <sighs> I can't right now. I think I do have Fearless Warrior, but I can't take that right now. Fiery Salt Peter. I don't think so. At this point I can't. Damage. I'm gonna, I, I, for the sake of, like, die, like, killing the boss in time. Let's go with that one. Permanent 20% chance to dodge attacks, though. It's hard to, I, I really wish we got offered that, both of those, much earlier. Because I would have taken those 12 years ago. I would have taken them. Those are much better than, like, the past five or six things we've been offered. I wish that those were there instead, but oh well. What are you gonna do? Is it worth 1400 How much damage is that? Is it worth 1400 Uh, what What is... Calculator. 1400 divided by 50 times 1.25. 35%. Uh... 35% extra damage. Or eh, I don't think that there I don't think there's gonna be any one upgrade that'll be worth that. One of these might be though. Max HP up, flying sword attack up. No. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Blue souls up. Okay. There is a real situation where the attributes will be better off as something else though. Come on. Yes. Yes! Let's go! Alright, and it didn't it didn't take too many rerolls. I think that we're good. Alright. Are we gonna win? Probably not. Maybe though. We have all of these health potions. There's I don't know. I don't know. There's a real chance. That last boss is a pushover though. He's only tough because you have like to me right now, because you uh Get worn down all the way up until then. Hey, hey, hey! Hello, sir. It's just if we just fight him with range damage, we win. I think. He like really doesn't like ranged builds fighting him. Yeah, here comes this. I want to know the cheat for this. There's gotta be a cheatsy hobbitsy's move. Oh, hello. Hello. Screw you. Oh! Whoa! 
Did you see the way how quickly that re-aimed on me? Oh, that better not do damage to me or screw you. What? Not bad. Not bad. Honestly, not bad. We did it. We did it. We did it. Thank you, Inkfire Crystal, doing 8% of max HP, but not exceeding 200% of players' attack. I think that that was a really, really fundamentally borkin thing there. That we truly, truly needed. Otherwise, this run would have been probably... Maybe not insufferable, but it would have been really frustrating, for sure. But hey, we did it. We beat it. Uh, you know, I'm scared of the next one as a result. But we were able to do it. And maybe, just maybe, that one build is, is truly just terrible. Uh, Lightning Lock is a fun one to start with. Maybe that one build is just truly, truly terrible, but there is snowstorm and then there is blizzard. So enemies have even more increased health on this one. And then on the next difficulty, they have even, even more. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, worst comes to worst hell. Maybe we'll just permanently leave it on heavy snow. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll piece it together. We'll figure it out. I'm hoping that there's some balance tweaks because as it currently stands, like it's just an annoying amount of health that it seems like you're sort of fo like forced into building a couple different ways, which is never fun. Like it's never fun if someone says, oh, no, this is balanced because, you know, it's balanced because you can do it with this build. That's not that's not an answer. Like, I'm not saying that this with it with certainty upon playing this that th that heavy heavy snow is fundamentally at this point after the run today i'm not going to say that it is as bad as the last time we played but i will say that i definitely still feel the core design flaw of of enemy hp bloat because I don't want to have to just keep on getting percentage HP damage uh, on every single run. Because then it just comes down to, did I get this item? The game, you know? So, we'll see. We'll, we'll keep our eyes on it. We'll manage. We'll, we'll process. And if there's ever a mode that just does not feel fun, we are not going to play it anymore. We're not going to play that mode anymore. We'll play the mode, the mode step down. Um, and again... Truly, just hopefully the balance gets tweaked around. I'm fine with, like, to make it clear, it's not that it's too hard. It really is not that it's too hard. Uh, like, I'm fine with difficult. I love difficult. It just, it just, just lower the HP. Bu buff up enemy, buff up everything else if you want. If you want, buff up everything else. I don't care. Buff up everything else if you really want to. Just lower the health. <laughs> That's all. That's going to do it, though. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Roblox more every single day. If you want more warm snow, if you'd be sad to see it go, you got to let me know so you comment down below. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.